Hello guys, me Cars that is a cap Carn FF and I'm gonna do like a eh, I'm not doing compare and contrast but I'm just gonna just look at these two female driver prospects in all of motorsports and how they fare against the male dominated drivers in our century. So here it is. I'm gonna do Jamie Chadwick who was born in 1998 and with her accent I believe she was born in the United Kingdom so yeah google it if I'm wrong but otherwise that's where I believe her heritage is from so so I believe her parents I believe have raised her right and being born before the 2000s I believe has told her hey you can be patient you don't have to start too young like age of 18 like Max Verstappen but why I brought Jamie Height Chadwick into the conversation is because she won at Road America in the in the next series so congrats to her and I'm telling you yeah Andretti on the sport Raised her right. Trained her very hard for the this year and a few years ago, I believe. And now she's part of the Williams Racing F1 Academy, if I'm wrong. But I've YouTubed a few of her videos, uh, including the, the interviews, random interviews with Sky Sports, who do most of the European media, social media in certain countries so yeah so what i'm saying here is jamie chadwick i believe is well ready to do f1 she probably like think indycar is a plan b if f1 doesn't go well like look at alexander rossi he was a up and coming talent prospect. However, he only managed a race team called Manor Motorsports in F1 and decided IndyCar was a thing for him. So, lucky for him, he already has an Indy 500 win. So. <laughs> but on the subject of Jamie Chadwick, I've heard of her because. Of all the commercials she's been like I don't know there was a notable one but uh, I'm not too crazed or hyped on her yet but sooner or later she will get bells ringing and she'll maybe be a household name in all of motorsports so she although she hasn't talked about her trying NASCAR for a change Maybe on the road courses, but if she's NASCAR owners gave her a call and say, hey, we would like to offer you a C in X or Y vehicle. We would like to do it on a road course. So, hey, maybe she was inspired by Danica Patrick because of her upbringing and knowing that you got to take your time when you actually you're in your 20s so i don't have any more ideas as far as who jamie chadwick is and how to get the conversation going so you guys know who jamie chadwick is or who Haley david is so, so i'll stop there for chadwick now on the other side Haley Deegan, who i was hyped about or crazed about Ever since 2018 when she won an ARCA, NASCAR sanctioned ARCA race. But it was on the, in the West Series. So. But otherwise, the National ARCA Series. Mm. I know she didn't lead that many laps. But she did get some top five, top tens there. But there wasn't competition then. So, yeah, we'll uh, skip on the trucks. And this is where the meet of the schedule 
as far as grinding and doing all these races and racing against people that aren't the same age as you. And I mean, I may have been biased at times in past YouTube videos saying she's better than Danica Patrick when she had her time in NASCAR, but it has changed the past year and I want to admit that she wasn't my favorite. My favorite NASCAR driver, maybe Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Larson, Trace Elliott, all those that have been in Hendrick Motorsports, but I dive into Xfinity and trucks a little bit and see the up and coming drivers and Haley uh -huh. Dean was one of those. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the audio, sorry. <laughs> I'm just doing a quick time player screen record with my audio on my MacBook Pro. So anyways, put that aside. But anyways, let's talk about Haley Dega some more. Truck series was hell. She had three years of hell. She never improved. She never got a top five. And the reason why she might have gotten those top tens and non-restrictor plate races is because people kept crashing. And those three non-restrictor plate races were Gateway in 2021. <sighs> Let me see. Mid-Ohio in 2022. And then I believe Texas of last year. So... And then the other two were Talladega, her favorite tracks. But you can't call it a favorite track because it's a restrictor plate race. So, anyways. Yeah. Yuck. She got 12 place finish at Talladega. So. Hmm. Yuck. She was running 30th in the last few laps of the race. And then all the cars crashed. And if she ran 30th, who knows? I wouldn't be following her at all, but I just have to do it just for recognition of my journalism, you know, credentials, which I'm not a journalist, but I'm a gamer, I'm a vlogger that uploads Zach's car live streams. Whenever I watch the Cup Series, the Xfinity, or Trucks. But hey, Haley D will find her time in Cup. Unlikely, but yeah. I don't want to be a simp. If people have called me before and called me out on Facebook and YouTube, craze, but unlike Jamie Chadwick, I believe Haley D was rushed too quickly. She may have won some off-road championships back when Ryan Deegan, her father, helped her along the way as a teen. Tried to train her to say, hey, I mean, hold on for a second. But anyways... Yeah, Haley Deegan, she sucks this year. And her truck's point standing showed 17th, 21st, 19th. And it's more likely she'll be dead last of all the full-time drivers. Maybe around 28th, 29th, 30th. And maybe next year, if she's not been performing, she might get a DNQ in her race. It's just like, oh... Where's she in the owner standing? Is she going to move up? Well, no. The last two road courses have proven that she's not been learning, hasn't been a sponge. Learn all the new tracks, even though road courses haven't been her favorite. You know, like, she was fine in trucks when she did road course racing, but Xfinity has been crap. Just not... Getting up to speed, driving for an underfunded team of AM racing. Think they're ready for Xfinity. They just hired the bad drivers, you know. 
Well, not bad, like in Brent Moffat, who finished 17th last year in the standings. But oh, As they blab around, talk about Haley. It was the same a decade ago when I rooted for Patrick and Xfinity, and she got a tough place driver's points. And yeah, technology changes prospects from different forms of motorsports. They want to come up, want to be the next superstar, but yeah, it's not all fun and games. You actually have to actually perform. Be in those competitive meeting, meetings. Be vocal about what you want them to do to your car setup and all that. So, I mean, <sighs> yep. I wish we can go on and on for 15 to 30 minutes, but I don't have the time in the world, the world, to explain to me why female drivers can't do well in a male dominated sport but that's there's other sports like NBA and WNBA they have their own separate league but then I believe F1 I believe F1 has started a women's series where all women drivers only compete in one another and I believe Jamie Chadwick's dominated in the European side of the world overseas, but so those are my two cents on Jamie Chadwick and Haley Deegan. Hope they find future success wherever they go and if they uh, decide to call it quits in their racing career, I hope for the best and hopefully they find a better job somewhere else if, like who knows maybe not, race car driver isn't for them but so I don't want to give them too much high expectations on their success in F1 or NASCAR so so I'm a Cap Carnival hope you all have a good evening and peace out